Figure number 54. A piece of mammalian tissue was homogenized and centrifuged. The biochemical activity of four subcellular fractions was investigated. Which diagram indicates the fraction with maximum synthesis of messenger RNA? So guys, what they have done is that they took mammalian tissue, that is uh, a tissue that contains animal cells, and they homogenized and centrifuged it. That means they have separated the organelles. And after separating the organelles, they uh, are investigating the organelles, the activity in the organelles, and the activity that they are investigating is the synthesis of messenger RNA. So uh, they are asking that which graph over here is correct for the synthesis of messenger RNA. So guys know that wherever there is DNA, you should know that wherever there is DNA, messenger RNA is also formed. Why? Because wherever there is DNA, the genes of the DNA are transcribed to make messenger RNA, right? So the maximum synthesis of messenger RNA occurs in the nuclei. And why is that so? Because the nuclei contain linear DNA, which is a very large DNA that has a lot of genes and these genes are transcribed, producing a lot of messenger RNA. So maximum uh, messenger RNA synthesis will be in the nuclei. And the second would be mitochondria because mitochondria also contain DNA and that is circular DNA. And the genes on the circular DNA are transcribed as well to make messenger RNA, right? So the answer should be B, maximum synthesis of messenger RNA in the nuclei. And the second would be mitochondria. If we talk about the lysosomes and ribosomes, uh, they do not synthesize messenger RNA. So the activity is almost negligible or zero. They don't synthesize any messenger RNA because lysosomes and ribosomes they do not contain um, DNA and transcription does not occur in the lysosomes and the ribosomes. Let's move on to MCQ number 55. Which row shows features of a typical eukaryotic cell? So guys, uh, as we just discussed that the size of the typical eukaryotic cell is between 20 and 40 micrometers. So the cell size is uh, greater than 2 micrometers. Nucleus is present in a typical eukaryotic cell. DNA is linear and ribosome size is large. Right. So the answer will be D. All right. Let's move on to MCQ number 56. The diagram shows an electron micrograph of a plant cell. What do structures X, Y and Z contain? So let's identify uh, X, Y, Z first. So guys, as you all know that uh, this is the nucleus and inside the nucleus there's a structure called z so z is basically the nucleolus right and you should know that nucleolus is basically loops of dna right that synthesize ribosomal rna or we can say that synthesize ribosomes so guys this structure that you can see over here is the chloroplast this is a plant cell so this structure over here is the chloroplast and the y the structure Y in the chloroplast are basically starch grains. So Y is the starch grain, which looks dark. Right. And what is this? This is the membrane of the sap vacuole, tonoplast. And inside the tonoplast, there is this liquid called the cell sap. So guys, X is the cell sap. Now let's, let's see what is the question. What do these structures X, Y and Z contain? So uh, guys, X contains cell sap or we can say mineral ions or water, right? Y contains starch because it's a starch grain and Z contains DNA and RNA. As I told you, nucleus is uh, loops of DNA and this uh, these loops of DNA synthesize ribosomal RNA. So Z contains DNA and RNA uh, and Y contains starch and X contains mineral ions. So the answer will be C, right? Let's move on to MCQ number 57. An amino acid enters a cell and is then used to synthesize an enzyme secreted by the cell. What is the sequence of the cell structures involved in the synthesis of an enzyme? So guys, an amino acid is entering into the cell and this amino acid is synthesizing uh, an enzyme that has to be secreted by the cell. And this enzyme is basically a protein. Obviously, all enzymes are proteins. So uh, basically, we have to state the sequence. Uh, of the cell structures that are involved in this in the synthesis of this enzyme so uh, always remember this point that the amino acid will go to the ribosome first that is uh, attached to the endoplasmic reticulum and then uh, after 
ribosome after going to the ribosome the amino acids will join to make a protein and this protein will enter the endoplasmic reticulum obviously uh, the amino acids uh, go to the ribosome where they uh, are joined to make a protein that is translation and after that uh, the protein has to be modified and packaged so for that the ribos uh, the protein enters the endoplasmic reticulum which is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and from the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, some modifications uh, occur in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and uh, the proteins are packaged in vesicles which then go to the Golgi apparatus and Gol from the Golgi apparatus further modifications occur and Golgi vesicles are formed and these Golgi vesicles form exos exocytotic vesicles which go and fuse with the membrane and release the contents. So guys, the enzyme will be made on the ribosome and the enzyme will then enter the rough endoplasmic reticulum for some sorts of uh, modifications and then the enzyme will go to the Golgi apparatus for further modifications and then the enzyme will be packaged into a vesicle that is uh, exocytotic vesicle because this vesicle will go and fuse with the membrane and via exocytosis this vesicle will release the enzyme out of the cell. So the answer should be C. This is the right sequence of cell structures which are involved in the synthesis of the enzyme. Let's move on to MCQ number 58. Tay-Sachs disease occurs when cells are unable to produce an enzyme leading to buildup of certain lipids in cells. Which cell structure would not function correctly resulting in the disease? So guys, uh, they say that there is a disease called Tay-Sachs disease in which um, cells are unable to produce an enzyme. So an enzyme cannot be produced. And they are saying that which cell structure will not function correctly resulting in the disease so the enzymes are found in lysosomes as we all know and they say that the enzyme usually breaks down lipids because they say they're saying in this uh, mcq that cells are unable to produce an enzyme leading to the buildup of certain lipids so the so when the enzyme is absent lipids build up in the cells so most probably they this uh, MCQ stem or question stem means that the enzyme that is not produced is, uh, is used to break down lipids, right? So this is a digestive enzyme and digestive enzymes are found in lysosomes. So which cell structure would not function properly? Lysosome will not function properly resulting in the disease. So the answer will be B. All right. Let's move on to MCQ number 59. The statements are all descriptions of cell structures. So guys, let's identify the cell structures. Okay, so the first description says that it's surrounded by a single membrane and enclosing a large fluid filled space. So guys, remember that it's an organelle or it's a cell structure which is surrounded by a single membrane. So there are a lot of cell structures which are surrounded by a single membrane, but they say enclosing a large fluid filled space. So always remember if this description comes in the paper and the examiner says large fluid filled space surrounded by a single membrane. So definitely this is sap vacuole because sap vacuole, you know, is a single membrane bound organelle, right? And this organelle contains a very large fluid filled space, right? What about the second description surrounded by a single membrane enclosing inactivated enzymes? So guys, single membrane bound, which contains inactivated enzymes, is the lysosome right what about the third description formed by two membranes enclosing a matrix the inner membrane is folded so guys this description matches mitochondrion right okay let's move on to the third to the fourth description formed by membranes that has flattened sacs and tubular structures interconnected throughout the cell right so formed by a membrane that has flattened sex and tubular structures interconnected throughout the cell so guys this is what endoplasmic reticulum because they say formed by a membrane that has flattened sex flattened sex means cistern eye right and they form tubular structures which are interconnected so guys when they say interconnected structures or we can say interconnected cistern eye that is er and they are found throughout the cell formed of nucleic acid and protein attached to membranes or free in the cytoplasm. So guys uh, made up of nucleic acid and protein and these are attached to the membranes or are free in the cytoplasm. These are ribosomes, right? 
सो विच न्यूक्लिक एसिड मेक्स द राइबोसोम दैट इज राइबोसोमल आर एन ए सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट राइबोसोमल आर एन एंड प्रोटीन्स मेक अप द राइबोसोम विच रो शोज द टिपिकल सेल इन विच दीज सेल स्ट्रक्चर आर फाउंड सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द प्लांट सेल द प्लांट सेल्स कंटेन सेप वैक्यूल दे कंटेन लाइसोजोम दे कंटेन माइटो कॉन्ड्रिया दे कंटेन ई आर दे कंटेन राइबोजोम्स सो दे कंटेन ऑल ऑफ द फाइव राइट सो वन टू थ्री फोर इज राइट वन थ्री फोर फाइव इज राइट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एनिमल सेल बेसिकली ऑल दीज आर राइट फॉर द प्लांट सेल वी जस्ट हैव टू लुक एट द एनिमल सेल एनिमल सेल्स लैक द सेप वैक्यूल वेर एज ऑल द अदर स्ट्रक्चर आर प्रेजेंट सो वन सो टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव आर फाउंड इन द एनिमल सेल सेप वैक्यूल इज एबसेंट एंड प्लांट सेल्स कंटेन वन थ्री फोर एंड फाइव राइट सो द आंसर विल बी बी लेट्स मूव ऑन टू एम सी क्यू नंबर सिक्सटी वॉट आर एप्रोप्रिएट यूनिट्स फॉर मेजरिंग डायमीटर्स ऑफ एलवेलाई डायमीटर्स ऑफ वाइट ब्लड सेल्स एंड द विद ऑफ द सेल वॉल्स सो गैज यू शुड नो दैट द डायमीटर ऑफ द एलवेलाई और एलवेल एस इज टू फिफ्टी माइक्रोमीटर सो वी मेजर द एलवेलाई और एलवेल एस इन माइक्रोमीटर्स द डायमीटर ऑफ द वाइट ब्लड सेल इज यूजली फोर्टी इज यूजली ट्वेंटी माइक्रोमीटर्स सो वी मेजर वाइट ब्लड सेल्स इन माइक्रोमीटर एज वेल and the width of the cell walls is usually greater than equal to 200 nanometers so we measure the cell wall in nanometers the answer is c